Shalom. Shalom. So, excuse me for the lighting. I'm trying to capture my baby out here finishing um, our new stairs. Um, sorry, there's no intro, but shalom, y'all. Um, and welcome back to our happy Hebrew family, or for those of you that are new, welcome. We love to have you. Please subscribe and, uh, you know, uh, hit that uh, bell button so you'll be notified every time we post a video. But as you can see, babe is over here. He is starting a fire um, so that we can burn some of the rubbish and stuff like that that we need to. Uh, I'm coming. You see him motioning to me. <laughs> Say shalom, baby. Shalom, baby. <laughs> y'all, when I tell y'all, I'm so, 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 so proud of my baby. We're going to insert some clips of the before on these stairs, y'all. I don't know if we're allowed to show nightmares on YouTube. <laughs> Listen, y'all, when I tell y'all these stairs were treacherous, you know, I'm already a, a praying woman, but let me tell y'all something. We used to, I would pray before I walked up these steps, okay? Because the stairs before were treacherous to say the least so now look we have a little deck up there sorry for the shaking I almost fell <laughs> we have a little deck up there where you know we could kind of stand and get ourselves together before we open the door you know like sometimes when you carrying groceries and whatnot in and you need to get a free hand and so on and so forth yeah so now we have a little deck there and they put four stringers for those of you that are unfamiliar, these are stringers. So we have one, two, three, four stringers as opposed to before we had two. <laughs> and the risers, well, not the risers, the steps, right? Babe? These are, yeah. so the stairs were bowing as a result of insufficient um, support. support. So, um, I had been Pinteresting some stuff, um, you know, so that I can kind of get the look that we were going for. And so what we're going to do here is do the cables here and then we're going to paint the posts black and leave the rest natural. So it all flows with the overall look that we're going to achieve in the house, but so yeah, it's, I mean, it's coming along. I'm going to end up painting that door. That door is going to be pure white. Um, by Sherwood Williams. That door. And then, you know, of course you see the matte black hardware. And so the post will be black. And so, yeah, I just wanted to give y'all a sneak peek of what we've been up to. The garden still looks a hot mess, but babe is out here working. And so I didn't want to be in his way to do some additional cleaning, but... I don't know if y'all are were familiar with how it looked before, but <laughs> whoa, babe, you've been busy, <laughs> y'all. <laughs> Let me tell y'all something. Over here, those were holly bushes, and I don't know if you're familiar with holly bushes, but holly bushes hurt. They have like little pointy ends on it, and the red berries on them are poisonous. And I know that there's some people that love them for the coverage and you know, the green foliage and stuff, but I can't stand them. I cannot stand holly bushes. So we're going to, um, well, babe has already cut them down. Gotta let them dry so I can burn them. And then he's going, like he said, let them dry so he can burn them. Um, I'm seeing some new growth on our citrus trees, which is an awesome thing. Oh my God, look at how tall this tree has gotten. Can you put the spike in this one? I did put the spike in that one. I think that made the difference. So we, we got um, some fertilizer spikes from Lowe's. And um, when I was out here, Kennedy, uh, me and Kennedy the other day pulling weeds and trying to make sense of the madness out here, we started feeding the citrus trees. And y'all look, I don't know if you can see it, but look at that. There's new growth. 
My lemon tree is dead. Everywhere. I was afraid of that. That one over there? Yeah. So the lemon tree didn't make it. Um, kumquat didn't make it. Kumquat tree didn't make it. And y'all, that kumquat tree was full. I don't know if you remember in previous videos, but that kumquat tree, we had had it for how many years, babe? Two, three, two years? And I was getting fruit off of that thing. I probably was the only one eating them, but I enjoyed it. And um, when we got, um, you know, through the winter or whatever, I guess it just said, no, I'm not gonna make it. But uh, but I praise be to, you know, praise be to y'all because most of all of our other things made it that we transported from the old house. So, oh, let me show y'all this. This is our cherry tree. Baby, you see the new growth on the cherry tree? I was mystified by all the new growth on the blackberries. I'm so excited. So, oh yay. We got the cherry tree survived, y'all. Look at that. I started from a store-bought cherry. Listen, I'm excited. So, that's going to be in the garden. So, we have this beautiful um what is this a japanese magnolia tree yes. and got more, buds coming. got more buds coming out and the thing is our um inspector you know before we purchased the house he told us that that tree might not make it and so when we were out here cleaning up the first stage of it babe had pruned this tree back and it just went nuts. It went crazy. Like it was almost like it needed a haircut. It was like, thank you, Nate. So I'm not. I mean, y'all, this tree is like full and still getting new buds. I'm excited about this one. If you go to previous videos, Babe and I had planted a fragrant tea olive tree at our old house it was a baby y'all and it smells so wonderful tell me how awesome it is that this house has an adult fragrant tea olive tree and i was sad whenever we left the other house because i was like dang you know i want to take my trees with me it smells so good i mean they're they smell louder than magno than um than uh gardenias i mean it, it smells like um like clean like a, a what you call it uh fabric softener almost it's so it smells so good so i have one of those so praise y'all and so let's walk over here kennedy and i we um pruned this rose bush back and it's gone bananas and we just have to clean up around it. I want to get some either additional gravel or mulch to put down and around the things that I plan to keep just so that it looks a little bit more aesthetically uh, pleasing. These are going to be black um, tulips and I'm trying to take my time and break this down and transport, transport the bulbs someplace else so that we can finish cleaning this up but as you guys can see we've done a lot of cleaning over here i've got to get this blueberry bush in the ground that has new growth, that has new growth. Not as much as this and this thing got flowers like opening up on it so i have to hurry up and get that in the ground but here's the thing babe i don't know where to put it I don't know because y'all if you can see this there's literally like an inch of gravel on top of like five layers of plastic and it still had an enormous amount of um enormous amount of weeds and overgrowth so it's been a process to say the least trying to get everything situated over it but it's coming i just it's just a lot so this is a rose bush here i believe that's a tea rose tea rose or knockout roses i'm not i can't remember these again are another set of bulbs i'm not really sure what this flower is i was trying to conserve as much as i could um and then look at this blackberry bush so i it had started vining into the other part of the garden so when i um 
relocated um, it I just put it on this uh, trellis here up against the fence and so I'm just gonna let it do what it does naturally I'm gonna let it just vine up as you can see it's got a bunch of new growth on it I'm really really happy to see that because I was praying to y'all that I hadn't shocked them when I relocated okay. them so yeah I'm excited about that but this was my kumquat tree it's gone it's gone y'all I tried to do everything I could to save it but it's just it's gone so and then of course I pruned these on the front part of the house first and as you can see this thing is flourishing I mean I got all the dead branches off of it and you can see it's just flourishing it is doing very well so I got to clean underneath it we have ordered babes zero turn that should be here tomorrow um, along with some other you know some wood and some other things for projects and so um, we're going to try to get the lawn and stuff together within the next coming weeks um, again this all has to be raked and everything but I didn't get to get a chance to finish pruning this stuff this is an azalea these are azaleas on this side y'all these are all azalea and they're doing well too they're they're coming back this season so I'm happy about that I just I was just concerned overall with regard to it not being kept and all of the severe overgrowth and just uh, kind of neglect of it um i was just really concerned about the state of this is some expensive landscaping y'all i mean to be honest i don't want to have to you know cost wise replace all of this stuff so i'm we don't praise be to y'all that it survived and we can love on it and have it for years to come but um but yeah so i got off on a tangent i was coming out here to show y'all these stairs y'all <laughs> and how much better they look and how much better they're going to look once we're completely done with them so um let me go inside and i'll show you what i'm working on you like it?